kind of an open discussion here or answer any questions you might have. Uh, does anyone have any specific questions for me today? I will. Mr. Neekamp, mustache is still looking fantastic. Thank you. Thank you. It's kind of getting annoying, but I'm going to hold out as long as I can. As long as you look good, that's all that matters. Yeah, that's right. Mr. Carter, good morning, sir. Hey, River wants to know if Quinn's there. Um, she's actually downstairs. My wife's working, so I turned them loose on the Wii here for the next 10 minutes. Uh, I'm letting them get their Wii time in. However, since you brought it up, I want to show you something Quinn made for you this morning, Miss Archer. Ah. <laughs> uh, it's supposed to be a get healthy a card. So she apparently drew your whole family. I don't know who is who, but I do want to point out that she mentioned that this is supposed to be a party. Oh, so, I was afraid I was laying in a pile of blood. <laughs> I don't know what that is. This is supposed to be the sky and the sun. Maybe she's, I don't know, she's confused. But this is supposed to be music playing. <laughs> we have lots of music. I think she was trying to play, draw this little situation that I play every day. But anyway, she made a, a get well or get healthy card for you. She I love it. Herself. Well, please thank her. That's uh, impressive because none of my children have done anything yet. And as soon as I fell, um, I heard Will yell, Mac, go get dad. Mom's dead. And then after Luke has this big conversation sternly about respecting your mother and quit doing that, River says to me, sorry, you fell and broke your arm. Can I have an apple? Yes. I would love to cut you an apple with a hand. So anyway, okay. It's been a real fun time. <laughs> but hey, at least you figured out the talk to text, right? There's a silver. I did. I'm actually very impressed with myself. So yeah. Hey, I hope you don't mind. I crashed your meeting. These are fun. <laughs> That's okay. <laughs> we've had, we've had one staff Zoom meeting at North Baltimore. And uh, I enjoy I enjoy hopping in on these days. So. Hey, there's Miss Denise. You can say Miss Denise. And <laughs> come here, Will. There she is. Say good morning to Miss Denise. All right. We don't get out a lot at all, really. We're just, so this is the only like social interaction we get. You know. That's okay. You're welcome anytime, Mr. Archer. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. All right. Delaney, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Do you have any conversation or questions for us today? Well, as far as I know, my, okay, so business foundations, like, I think they still have in Saturday, but like, I asked, I asked Mr. Highcamp and he never responded. He kind of responded back. He said, as far as I know, that he, like, it's canceled for his class, but then there was an... I don't know about that, <laughs> but like Shadow Day is canceled for career development, so. Yeah, so like if Shadow Day is happening for one class and not the other, I don't know what to do about that, <laughs> but I'm pretty sure it's canceled. Okay, I don't know. I can check with Mr. Heitkamp and um, Ms. Schaefer. I would imagine yeah, even if yeah. schools don't shut down, uh, companies are going to be very selective about who's coming into their businesses yeah. uh, and being around their people, so honestly, I would, I would go ahead and assume it's going to be canceled, but I can get some confirmation for you. You said you're in career development and business foundations. Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we can get clarification on both. Uh, I'm, I'm certain career development shadow days have been canceled, uh, but I can check with uh, Mr. Neekamp. Do you know from a med foundation standpoint, you guys have canceled your career development or your shadow days, correct? I, uh, I have not received any information about that. Um, so yeah, I don't, I don't know, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Delaney, we can get back. Okay, with you. Thank you. Good question. And obviously, whatever we answer may change in the next couple of weeks anyway, but I can get you an answer for now. Is that Claire sweeter than a Pop-Tart wrecker? Yes. How are you this morning? I'm pretty good. How about you? It's, I'm fantastic. It's great to see you this morning. Good. Thank you. Is this your first time on our Zoom conversations? Yes. Do you have any questions or things you'd like to bring to the table here this morning? No. 
Just hanging out? Yep. Good. Everything going okay for you? Oh, uh, yeah. Things over here are pretty good. Well, good. That's good to hear. It's great to see you. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. I guess I can also let everyone know that Mr. Wall has completed his second episode of Zoom morning greeting meeting highlights uh, that we'll be distributing soon. Hopefully you enjoyed the first one. Um, I will say that there was not a lot of improvement in my awesome count. Uh, so I'm still working on that, but uh, I appreciate it, Mr. Wall. I'll probably pump that out on Friday at the end of every week. Okay, well, I don't have a lot. Um, I am getting, I don't want to say some pressure, but some uh, increased inquiries as to what we're going to do with makeup dates for the big events, I'll just say, you know, prom, graduation, senior awards and things. Uh, we are, I'm in constant communication with all the other principals around the county, including uh, Finley High School. Uh, most um, are still just kind of sitting on the current dates, meaning we're going to hope that things open back up on May 4th. Uh, we're having conversations as to what we'll do if we don't come back on the 4th. Uh, but for now, we're just going to kind of sit on those dates uh, and hope that we can continue those events uh, as scheduled. Um, obviously, if we need to adjust, we will. Graduation will occur at some point, somewhere, at some time. Uh, but for now, we're going to move forward with that Saturday morning uh, until we know otherwise. Uh, some schools have canceled proms, but mostly those are the ones that were scheduled in like late April uh, and the prom was already prior to um, the extended closure. So those with uh, proms in mid-May, which would include us, are kind of sitting on those dates, hopeful that we can continue with that event, but also um, a little bit hesitant that we know the reality that that may not occur on that date. So we'll keep you posted on all that. Other than that, I don't have any information. Any other questions before we shut down here this morning? Yes, Mr. Wall? Um, I was just wondering if the whole quarantine thing clears up before the end of summer, what time are we coming back to school? Uh, good question. Uh, the school calendar that's proposed uh, for the board to approve tomorrow night has us coming back on, I think, September 8th. It's the Tuesday, the day after Labor Day. Again, that's assuming a lot of things, but if all goes according to plan, we'll be back Tuesday, I think it's September 8th, the day after Labor Day. Good question. I have a question. Yes, sir. Uh, how did you like the new Trolls movie? How'd your kids like it? Um, I attempted to watch it or and or sat on the couch at least three times to watch it and I fell asleep every single time. Uh, my wife informed me that it wasn't really very good and kind of didn't make a lot of sense. It was not nearly as good as the first one. I agree with that. Max was pretty upset this morning when he sat down and tried to kick it on and our 48 hours is up. So my kids absolutely loved it and they've been singing yeah. the songs and all the yeah. happiness. Yeah. I think I saw a video of your daughter uh, getting after it and dancing quite a bit. Oh, yeah. We made the most of our time that we had with it. She refers to it as the new Poppy movie. <laughs> My kids were extremely upset uh, that the Bergens weren't in it. And as Quinn was complaining, then at the end, after the credits, when they pop on, uh, and then they say balls, which, of course, my kids think is the funniest thing in the world. Uh, and that's pretty much all Quinn remembers from the movie. Any other uh, parents out there or kids or people who just generally enjoy Trolls? Miss Ragudi, did your daughter watch Trolls? No, we are strong into Moana, Zootopia, and Lion King. Those are the only three movies we can watch. Well, if that's the only three you can watch, you got three good ones, because those are all three fantastic. They're great, but after you watch them every day, you get a little over them. <laughs> Oh, the struggles of the quarantine. Miss Archer, any popular movies in your house right now? Um, well, we attempt to sit down and watch movies, but it doesn't last long. My kids won't sit still. And Will's been watching Up, which I do not recommend. Have you seen the beginning of Up? I mean, if you love your spouse, it's a disaster. She dies. It's terrible. It's I love so terrible. So I wasn't too fond of that one beginning, but anyway. 
uh, we're we're outside quite a bit, and we just have had lots of fights, and movies aren't really our thing. Lots of uh, old reruns. Max has been watching um, old baseball games, and you know, for him, it's the first go round, so he doesn't know who's gonna win. <laughs> you haven't watched me, Andy Griffith. TV people, what, Bry? You haven't watched any Andy Griffith. Yeah, and actually, Luke turned it on this morning, and he was mad it was color. He hates the color one. Hey, I meant to tell you, email you, Mr. Brett, yesterday Steve Avery turned 50. Makes oh. me... He used to sneak me out at nap time and go to 7-Eleven, and uh, now he's 50 years old. <laughs> Why don't you get an autograph for me? Uh, well, I did get a Christmas card. I'll, I'll make sure to forward it to you. <laughs> All right, guys, I think I'm going to shut it down for the day, uh, but appreciate you joining us for some conversation this morning. Uh, try to get some work done today, uh, and classes kick back up again uh, tomorrow. So everybody have a good day. Take care, stay safe, uh, and do what you got to do. Thank you.